The location is the World Market Center. It's a beautiful day in Las Vegas, though warm. And we are at the pavilions because Pavilion 2 is the new location of the Harvest Festival, an original art and craft show that previously has been housed at Cashman Center but has now moved to the pavilions. We're going to see how the setup looks and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday the organizers will find out if their audience is willing to move and come down to World Market Center. We're here on Thursday, which is setup day for the festival, and exhibitors are checking in and setting up their exhibits. And here in the show office little headquarters, there are there's some candies. There are signs for people to post products made in the USA proudly. Um, some discount coupons and then all the rules for the exhibitors as to the show hours and who's in charge, storage, the exhibitor entrance, parking, etc, etc. Lady in the cart is Nancy Glenn, owner of the show, and the other lady is a friend of Meehan, who is in charge of people like me, the press. There are a million questions to be answered <laughs> on setup day, and uh, they're all coming to Nancy, it seems. Brenda, how long has this show been in Las Vegas? This is our 31st year, and we're very excited. Harvest Festival Original Art and Craft Show will tomorrow turn into a magical marketplace. <laughs> there will be over 250 um, exhibits, and artisans and crafters represents over 24,000 gift items, and everything from wood carving to pottery to gourmets, jewelry. It is one-stop shopping for the whole year. Okay, now this is a new location. Will people pay for parking? I think they paid at the, uh, the Cashman Center. The positive side is is that we have moved our location to a unique artsy great area that, but is only a few minutes away from where we were and the prices are exactly the same okay. it's nine dollars to get in but we are community responsible and if you bring canned food um, unexpired canned food non-perishables for safe nest you will get two dollars off into the event one ticket good for all three days okay do people come for three days you know, a lot of people come on one day and they look around and they get things and they think about it and they come back. And the other awesome thing is it's a really great family event. So we have an ongoing family entertainment and just minstrel strolling and terrific food. But we have a kid zone. We have other local charities that are supported there. So the kids can do, you know, crafts with Discovery Children's Museum. They can do ID bracelets with one of our new charities, Rise. They can learn how to make a bear necklace for themselves and also send to a child across the world in an Operation Christmas Child shoebox. And we have Cal Portland supporting our kids area, doing an environmental maze to teach families how to be green. So there's lots to do. There's shopping, there's entertainment, there's kids activities. So sometimes moms will come on the Friday and have a girlfriend day by themselves and then bring the kids back. And children 12 and under are all free. Um, if you attendees bring non-perishables and canned food, they'll get $2 off and it fills Safe Nest Pantry for their uh, a temporary shelters for almost a year. But also if you buy a shopping bag or you use a parcel check, if your arms get a little sore and you go because you want to get all those gift items, you can go over to our parcel check and um, those monies go to support Safe Nest as well. Oh, way over there. I see it. I see it. Brenda is public relations for this event and she does a whale of a job. <laughs> thank you, Brenda. Well, thank you for coming out and thank you for supporting our new location and we hope that you enjoy Harvest Festival Original Art Festival. In Richard McCall's booth and he started to talk to me about his pieces here. So go ahead. Each piece is handmade. My wife, Shelley, sculpts each face and each hand individually. Mm. All of the animals are handmade for each piece, and they're beautifully detailed. Yes, Every there are. All of the uh, faces are joyful. 
and they exude just a happy feeling that she yeah. really should. So what what are the range of prices for these? They're all seven hundred ninety five dollars. Okay. Except this one, twelve hundred dollars. Woo! It's beautiful as well. If you have a fancy house and you need fancy decorations, this is the thing. Now, beautiful. how do you do at a festival like this? We uh, principally sell through stores. Neiman Marcus is our biggest account. Ah. Uh, but once a year, we will do a show here in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. as well as the furniture show at the World Market Center. We do both of those. Okay. We sell to high-end furniture stores as well as other retailers. Okay, I would think this is a high-end product. It is. Because it's absolutely beautifully done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for talking with me. All right, I'm here at Twisted Treasures, Terry and Randy Kelly, so... I'm Terry. Yeah, okay, Terry and Randy are here. And explain to me, what do you mean by Twisted Treasures? Well, Twisted Treasures is wire art jewelry, and each piece is an individual piece and depending on the stone itself the wire is crafted to accent the stone and sometimes it's twisted and twirled to make the best setting for that particular stone okay there are beautiful stones here where do you get all these we go to tucson to the international rock and mineral show mm -hmm. and find all different all different stones Wow, they are just lovely. What are the price range, kind of? Mine can... go anywhere from probably $39 up to a couple of hundred dollars. Okay, well, they are absolutely gorgeous. So good luck with this show. Thank you. They're just setting up here at Gourmet Friends and Redlands Candle Company, and there are lots of things here for folks to buy. I zeroed in on this. I thought it was a great sign. The Seven Dwarves of Menopause. Itchy, bitchy, sweaty, sleepy, bloated, forgetful, and psycho. And here they have baking mixes, cheesecake mixes, waffle mixes, so oh, that's great. Dinner mixes, ice cream mixes, chai tea, pastas, and <laughs> candles. Purchasing booth space is one thing and then setting up is another look at all the boxes i'm here at millicent's preserves because i was intrigued by the sign that said award winning and i asked this wonderful lady here what what award and she said 56 different awards first place in the la county fair first place in the orange county fair best in la uh, several times first place in oh. the I believe you, I believe you. So what we're talking about are here, just getting set up. Yeah, but here's and, the, our menu. And a whole list, okay. Apricot, pineapple, preserves. Oh my goodness, if you love your breakfast and your toast, Santa Rosa plum, or your ice cream and, yes, that's and right. toppings. Or your champagne pepper jelly on oh. cream cheese when people come over. Oh, I like that idea. Yeah. Anyway, you will see Millicent's Preserves here at the Harvest Festival. It's not been set up, but there's one little shirt hanging on the outside of the booth, and it says, design the life you want. And that is very true. Roberta's doll clothes are just getting set up, so it looks kind of sparse, but look at these clothes, all for Thanksgiving. And when I asked Roberta, um, who are these for? There are several famous dolls that are the models for these clothes, including the American Girl doll, a Walmart doll, did you say? Yeah. And a Target doll, so. And, and what? Stop. Step in, or just watch your stepping. Stock? Okay. Well, I'm not real familiar with my dolls, but. Stock monkeys like out of the 1940s or 50s, where you took the old fashioned socks and you made them into. Oh, Sockman. Yes. Sockman dolls. Okay, I didn't yeah. understand yeah. what you were saying. No. Oh, there he is, way in the back. Okay, well, if you have a person in your family who loves dolls, this is the place to come, Roberta's Doll Clothes.
I loved the name of this company, Sitting Easy, and they are just getting set up so we have rather a chaotic group of chairs, etc. But look at this one. I know. This out this chair outdoor for 29 years and Walter here who makes the chairs in North Carolina says that he makes these chairs the way they were made what in er, in the 1800s and they are made of Appalachian Appalachian I can't even say it Appalachian, Appalachian, Appalachian. oak and they will last forever. That chair is in this picture. Oh my goodness, that chair is in this picture, so he's telling the <laughs> truth in this sign that this chair was outdoors for 29 years. And it's in beautiful shape. It is. The older it gets, the better it gets. Oh. Like old plow handle. The old plow <laughs> okay, handle well, <laughs> Walter came all the way from the Carolinas to be here in Las Vegas, and we wish you well. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I want you to come back and have a seat when I get set up. Okay, it's thanks. Comfortable as well as durable. I'm assuming there will be food here tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday because there are lots of tables and chairs. And looks like some booths here. I'm not quite sure what is going to be where, but I think if you're hungry, you can come here for lunch. I'm in Karen's Crystal Brittle's booth, which is not yet set up. And this is Karen's best friend, who's talking a mile a minute about how great the product is. Hi. And uh, then she explained the sign, because I couldn't read the whole thing. Free samples of peanut brittle, no peanut brittle, and cayenne no peanut brittle. So come tomorrow or Saturday or Sunday and you can get your free samples and you may go home with what? A half a pound and a pound? A half a pound's 11, a pound is 20. And half a pound's 11, a pound is 20 and it's all made by hand by Z Best Concepts LLC to ask about these that are hanging on display in several locations and she says they are repurposed liquor bottles yes they are and can be used as spoon rests or cheese trays or you can simply hang them because they're attractive this is Z Best Concepts LLC lots of muscle is required for setup handsome guy is Robert Shields, once of the group that we all knew. Were you on Ed Sullivan? Oh no, Sonny and Cher, Johnny Carson, mm -hmm. Herb Griffin. Okay, Shields and Yarnell, and I do remember that name. We were the ones who created the robot. We were the first robots. Oh yeah? All this technique was, you know, basically I did it when I was 19, 64. I remember that year. <laughs> but anyway, he's here at this show because he's also an artist. Yeah. And I stopped because sure. these tables... Now, why is there a hole here? Oh, no, so you can pallet. lift it. Huh? No, it's a pallet. Oh, it's a pallet. Okay. Yeah. And I do all kinds of stuff. Girls in bathtubs. Gosh, these they're really beautiful. So Thank this you. would be, what did you say, around three? Three ninety-nine. Three ninety-nine. Yeah. And uh, nobody in your neighborhood would have a table like this. No, I'm not in any stores. Not in any stores. Where are you located? Sedona, Arizona. Oh. Oh. I've been there 34 years. <laughs> a, a beautiful uh, yeah, Sedona. Sedona, Arizona. 34 years I've been living there. I okay. moved out of L.A. Okay, well and you were smart. Being an artist. Okay. And gave up show business. I mean, I had a good career in show business, but mm -hmm. I don't like traveling that much. Anymore. So, do you have a store in Sedona, or no, I just do art shows. You do art shows. I have an online business, RobertShields.com. Okay. Okay. Well, it's nice to find you here. Thank you. And these are beautiful. I used to work in Vegas a lot. I was. In, I worked here a lot. I opened for Sinatra a lot. We headlined a lot of hotels. I can't say that. <laughs> no, back in the day, when yeah. Vegas was different. Yes, yes. It's fun now, though, but it's kind of crazy. <laughs> too much Cirque. I like live entertainment. Yeah. And too much Cirque. Anyway, uh, Mr. Shields, welcome back to Las Vegas, and hope you have a great show. A sucker for handbags and <laughs> similar accessories, and Danny Kay has lots of them. He's all set up already. This is another must-stop for me tomorrow.
You can even find fashions at this show. This is Valentine Fashions Glitzy Apparel. I know this vendor because I have been here before and my friend bought a scarf here a couple years ago and she is the uh, fashion uh, plate <laughs> at the holidays because her scarf lights up. Anyway, stop by if you like glitzy apparel. The lady here who was putting her booth together says, this booth has no name. We're booth 234. Yeah. But I stopped here because I loved this uh, ho 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 hanging. So if you're tired of wreaths and other very common things on your door at the holidays, try ho ho ho. Well, I'm not sure if this is handmade. It might be just a commercial booth, but it's my massage pillow. And here they are. Even though it's not finished. Okay. This is the plate ladies exhibit and I wondered what this was. And uh, the woman here explained that each one of these plates has a hole in the middle. And you can build tiers in which you would have a display of cakes, cookies, uh, all kinds of things. And you can use any of the colors and then you bring the plates you choose over to the side and they will put put them together in a tier for you a three tier plate i said I thought was what forty dollars two tiers 35 etc so this is something very different and it's from the plate ladies. He's here manning this booth. They seem to be pretty much set up. Get your handprints done today. And here they are. I stopped here because I like the name. Artfully Salvaged Hummingbird Feeders. And the woman who makes these is in Portland, Oregon and she says that she appears at a number of art fairs in the area and they are always worth the drive <laughs> from portland to las vegas they are absolutely beautiful um, feeders even if there were no hummingbirds attached just lovely artfully salvaged a colorful booth and it's all set up. This all is up. NY Fantastic, Fantastic Collections. New York Fantastic Collections. New York Fantastic Collections. Are you from New York? No, I'm from East Coast. Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> However, if some of us remember tie-dye, this is beautiful tie-dye. And other East uh, Coast. And other designs. Very colorful. Booth 130. The sign says art for elephants, and indeed, there is art, and it has to do with elephants, and I'm told each piece has a story connected to it. And art for elephants helps support a sanctuary called... Global Sanctuary for Elephants. Global Sanctuary for Elephants. She told me that three times, and I still couldn't remember it. <laughs> Global Sanctuary for Elephants. And um, anyway, it is uh, an unusual booth here, and the art is lovely. And if you are interested in having some art that also helps save elephants in South America, mostly now. Mostly in South America. There are captive elephants in South America. Captive in elephants. Bankrupt zoos and Art for Elephants is here, and the artwork is lovely. Oh, thank you. Factory folks seem ready to go. It is warm. I hope the chocolate doesn't melt in the meantime. And I'm about to leave and go home. I will come back tomorrow and do a final scene of the crowds coming to the Harvest Festival. I guess some people have found the new location. Look at the lines. The show just opened. This is one of my favorite booths. This bread company from California makes wonderful jalapeno bread. The crowd has even found itself to the last row of booths.